I didn't know it was 17 points in a row. <clears throat> For me, I'm just saying we need to increase the lead, <laughs> increase the lead. And so uh, for me, it's just continue to play. And it's crazy. I watch games a lot, and sometimes when people get hot like that, they just take a crazy shot and what they call a heat check. That's got to be the dumbest thing I've heard of. Like, you should just, he's going to take a crazy one. <laughs> but for me, I just figure keep taking good shots while I take a bad one and then <laughs> not be hot no more. But that's why I'm not a scorer, I guess. I don't know all those good shots. I don't think there was one crazy one among them. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you just answered on the other guys being finalists for the postseason awards, but you were not named as a finalist for the MVP. Do you have any thought, you know, thought you want to share on that? No, not really. You know, our main focus is playoff time, man. You know, I want those guys to obviously get the, uh, the rewards because um, we celebrate everything as a team, but it's go time, man. We have we have our eyes on the prize. Fellas, all season long you've struggled against this opponent with rebounding. You know, that struggle again tonight. How concerned are you with that? And what do you think you can do to get it corrected? I know that's not necessarily your job, but you no, know. nah, it is our job. <laughs> we're a team, and so uh, for us, we're not gonna grow overnight. You know what I mean? So we just got to keep uh, putting bodies on guys, boxing out. Um, trying to do it as a collective. And it's something that we knew going into the series. Uh, we'll take the win, but we also understand, you know, we'll come in tomorrow and figure out how we can get better at that. So you both are sh shooting well, and Aiden's shooting well, and then you know, Mikhail, he's shooting fairly well, and then Cam off the bench is, you know, doing his job shooting well. But then Jay's having an off night. So what are the things that you discuss with him to help him keep his confidence up and, you know, contributing in other ways? I mean, he's been here before, you know, he's experienced. So, you know, this game's over and we're on to the next one. He does so many things out in the court, you know, that are more valuable than, you know, just him shooting efficiently. Um, obviously he can do that, but, you know, his defensive presence, his communication, you know, he, he he's a true winner. You know, he's been to back-to-back -back finals appearance, appearances, so he understands what it takes. Chris, I think one of the things that makes great players uh, great is their ability to own a moment and, and take over a game in crucial moments. I, I know you said you were just reading the game, but can you kind of put your finger on how you have that innate ability to read the game and know, okay, this is my time to take over? Um, I've been playing for a while, <clears throat> for a long while, to tell you the truth. And um, I don't know, I think just naturally, you, you read like if Book got it going, if Cam got it going, <clears throat> if DA got it going or whatnot, you just, it's whatever. So uh, over the course of the game, um, you just try to try to keep that energy there. And if that means I got to score, then so be it. And Book and them guys stay on me. They talk to me all the time. And uh, who was it? Uh, Jamal Crawford, uh, fam, one of my teammates came up to me at halftime and was like, shoot the ball. That's what he said to me and Book when we were standing over there. And so, started shooting. Thanks, guys.